God says, write the vision and make it plain, okay? So go get that journal, write down the vision and make that thing plain and let But you have to go ahead and do it. We have to get out of this mindset of just sitting here and just waiting for God to do poof. And then the miracle is supposed to fall out of, uh, out of the sky, right? Yes, God. If without work is dead. So what work are you, is God waiting on you to do in order for him to bless you? Hmm? You waiting on that blessing and you like, God, where it at? But God looking at you like, babes, I told you to do something and you still ain't do it. You are in a season right now, but you just don't understand. Just know that you have to keep believing. You have to keep having faith. I it's a oh, wrap! Hey, hey. Uh Welcome to today's vlog. Well, no, welcome to this coming up week's vlog. So, y'all, today is a Thursday, uh, December 7th. Yes, I'm starting the vlog on a Thursday. Crazy, right? Yes, so the only reason why I'm starting the vlog on a Thursday is because on Sunday, I am flying out to Miami, right? And I'm going to get my hair braided today. I'm doing some box braids. So I was like, I figured, let me start the vlog from here so that I can show you guys uh, me going to get my hair braided and stuff like that. So y'all can kind of get the whole preparation and experience. So let's get into why I'm actually going to Miami. So two reasons I'm going to Miami. So the first reason is because I actually have a collab that I'm doing so this wonderful 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 young lady reached out to me a couple months ago on Instagram and she owns a brand called she fly UK she's actually from the UK um, but she has a lot of family in Florida so she like flies back and forth and basically what her brand is all about um, it's just about kind of motivating them and highlighting women like young women entrepreneurs that are doing their thing or whatever the case may be and just kind of sharing their story yeah she got some things going out so i'm gonna drop her instagram below and her instagram like business page below too so y'all can go check her out uh she is so sweet good vibes but she reached out to me a couple months ago and she was like you know hey i see that you do fitness content and i also love your motivational videos so you know i really would like to feature you on my page and we could do a collab and then we kind of like talked about what we're gonna do and so we're meeting up in Miami. We're going to be filming some workout videos. I'm also going to be filming some motivation videos. There's going to be like a whole little Zaku series, whatever type of thing going on. So I'm so excited. Um, that's like my first room collab, you know. So I'm like, let me get my hair braided because, girl, there's a reason why I don't wear my hair straight. Because I work out too much. I sweat too much. It's just not going to stay the way it's supposed to stay. So I'm going to go get that thing braided. But the second reason why I'm actually going to Florida is because my dad lives in Florida and a lot of my dad's side actually lives in Florida. So a lot of them are like West Palm Beach, Miami, Fort Myers, all that, all them little areas and stuff like that. So a lot of them live there and I don't really go to Florida often. When I was younger growing up, I would always like go and visit my cousins because you know, you was younger. So your parents forced you to kind of go, you know, but you know like i haven't seen my dad in a very long time and that's something that i have put on my book this year in my vision book this year was like you know let's like foster that relationship i know so you just gotta cherish the people that are in your life so i'm going there from sunday to thursday to also go visit my dad and then go visit like my cousins and stuff because i haven't seen them in who knows how long probably like two three years yeah so uh, it should be fun i'm gonna bring y'all along i'm gonna show you guys getting my hair braided in a hour or two because my appointment is for 10 45 it's 9 43 i should hurry up and get going because traffic is probably gonna be trafficking <laughs> But yeah, so those are the reasons why. And then after I show y'all me getting my hair braided and stuff, I'm prob y'all probably not gonna see me until Sunday. So I'm gonna probably skip vlogging Friday and Saturday and then reconvene the vlog on Sunday, which is the day that I'm flying out and stuff like that. So see y'all later. <laughs> 
Y'all, I know, I still have my mirrors on the floor because I've yet to get nightstands. But we're going to mount this on the wall at some point. But I just wanted to show you guys this shirt. It says, blessed and highly favored. Y'all, okay? We want to get our hair braided, so we ain't wearing nothing cute, okay? I want to be comfortable because I'm going to be in that chair for like 10 hours. <laughs> So yeah, we're just wearing some leggings and just this shirt right here. And then I'm going to wear some sneakers. So this is the little sneakers that I got on. And I'm just going to throw this little jean jacket on just to be safe. <sighs> Y'all, I have a bad habit of leaving my keys in my apartment now because we don't need keys to get in. We have codes. So I don't be needing my key no more. So I, you know, cause I'm so used to living in the place where you need, y'all all up in my nostrils, but I'm so used to living in a place where you need keys and that's not the case. So it's just, I be forgetting my car keys all the time now. Like girl, get over. Today is Friday, so I told y'all I wasn't gonna meet y'all back up until Sunday, but I lied. I'm here again, and today I'm only gonna really just kind of show y'all me cleaning. So, I personally like if I'm going somewhere, I like to have like my place together and cleaned before so that when I come back, I can come back to like a clean environment. So, that's what we're gonna be doing today because y'all do know I'm flying out on sunday and i'm not coming back until friday so i'm gonna be gone for the whole week basically so the five days so i am going to do some laundry because i have a lot of laundry to do and then if y'all saw my last vlog there was an issue with my shower i had to like go and like take off the ceiling a part in the shower and then like see what was going on and then they had to wait for it to dry a few days and then they finally came back today and they basically put the ceiling back so now we have a ceiling again but with that being said the shower is dirty because you know they was stepping all up in the shower with they little boots and stuff so i gotta clean that so i just said you know what i might as well just clean up the entire apartment <laughs> getting a swivel mount clutch because now i can cook and then also like watch tv at the same time y'all at the same damn time <laughs> I 
coughing up the mess Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest She'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher Every door and how the windows let the sun in. Okay, y'all, today is Saturday night. It's like 7 p.m. and I am packing. Yes, I have my clothes on the floor because I vacuum my floors and disinfect my carpets. <laughs> it's clean. So don't, don't come to me. But yeah, so I had already planned out everything that I'm going to bring with me from earlier this morning. Um, but I just let a lot of time um, pass by. So now I'm actually going to pack. I just got my suitcase. And I'm going to get my life together so that tomorrow I could just get up, go to church, and then just have my suitcase with me and everything ready. I really hope that I'm not missing nothing because I feel like I waited so last minute to pack. But let's get witty. I'll be out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on... Y'all, so this is my carry-on, my purse. Yes, I'm lugging all of this with me. <laughs> and I asked my portable charger charging right here. But the reason why I have so many books with me is because this is my 2023 journal that I did from the beginning of the year, but it ran out of pages. So this was the second journal that I got for the year. And I'm bringing this one with me because I'm also gonna be doing my end of year retreat. Hold on, let me turn the camera. I decided that um, on this trip, I'm also gonna be doing my end of year retreat. Uh, so I did one last year, uh, December of last year, so that I can kind of get myself into the right headspace for 2023. So basically what the ending of the year retreat is, as essentially you're gonna go and take a day or two to yourself if you have the financial means um you can go to do a, like go to a hotel in your city and do like a staycation and kind of romanticize it but if you don't have the financial resources um you can stay at home you don't have to go to a hotel you can go to like a park for the day or um, just somewhere outside of your home uh, and then just kind of where you can be with yourself and take time to really reflect but last year i did it at a hotel um in my city i was living in new york so i went on the, uh, one of the hotels in the city and it was a really nice hotel and i stayed there for two nights and i did my um, end of year retreat this year since i happen to be going to miami i'm like you know what let me just do my end of year retreat in miami being that it's also the ending of the year so what happens during this retreat is one i buy a journal I buy a new journal and then I bring my old journal from the last year or for the current year that I'm in and then on this retreat I'm going to take time to pray I'm going to take time to seek God worship him invite him into my atmosphere in my presence in that hotel while I'm there right and then I'm going to just take time to look over my vision book for uh, the previous year look at everything that I've accomplished things that didn't work out things that did work out and just see how much progress that I've made 
And then from there, I am going to then pray and ask God, okay, God, I want to invite you into all these areas of my life. Um, minister to me, you know, what goals I should set for this new year. And then from there, I break down the goals in categories, okay? I am very specific. So I break down the goals from like my financial goals, my relationship goals, where it comes to like romantic relationships, uh, platonic friendships. Um, I also break it down to career. If I'm in a career, I'll break it down from like my side business to my nine to five uh, and everything else. I, if I want to develop in my spiritual life, I'll have a spiritual section and then I'll really write down, hey, this is my goals for the new year. Like I want to be able to pray every morning before um, I start my day, stuff like that. So I'll break down my goals and everything and I'll write it down in the journal. And then what I'll do is like I'll skip a page and then I'll save uh, pages so that once I come back from my retreat, what I'll do is now I have all my goals written down for the new year. I'll go and I'll print out pictures that resonate with the goals that I have. So during that retreat as well, usually I'll probably create a document and I'll start finding pictures that resonate with the goals. And then like once I'm back from the retreat, I'll print out the pictures and then like I'll paste them into the vision book. And then that will essentially be my vision book for that year. Um, and I have seen tremendous uh, progress with doing this. I know a lot of people do vision boards, but vision books have been like something that works for me because I also love to journal. I'm a big advocate for journaling, okay? Because God says, write the vision and make it plain, okay? So go get that journal, write down the vision and make that thing plain and let it be known um, what it is that you want to accomplish, right? And this is not no juju manifestation thing. <laughs> um, I, although I may use the word uh, manifest because, you know, that is an actual word, like um, the adjective, like, you know, an action. Um, but it's not anything like that. It's just something where, like, it's just journaling. It's vision journaling and writing down your goals and things of that sort. And I've found great success because when you do stuff like that with intent, um, I just think it really redirects you and aligns you with your goals. And it's a great thing to look back on because, you know, you can look back on, okay, what worked, what didn't work, what did I accomplish, what did I accomplish, and things of that sort. And I am a big advocate, hey, like we cannot just be going this life and just not have no goals and just be, you know, going with the flow. At least, I don't know, it may work for some people, but it don't work for me. This is what works for me, tried and true. Like I showed y'all in one of the previous vlogs, when my vision journal for 2023, and I accomplished almost every single thing in that journal. Almost every single thing in that journal, y'all. Like this is real. Like you have to let your request be known to God, right? Don't just put it in your head and then you're gonna forget about it. But when you write it down and you could always like go back to it and flip the pages, y'all. That is significant, okay? Having that constant remembrance. And as I had told y'all in one of the previous vlogs, the vision book that I have, I dedicate the first couple of pages for my vision, for my goals for the new year. And then the rest of the book is going to be used to journal throughout the year. So I'll be able to write down my failures. I'll be able to write down my successes. I'll be able to write down if I was going through a mini depression, whatever it is that I was going through, I'll be able to document all of those things within the book. And it's also great because you look back a couple years from now and I'm, I've opened like a vision book from 2021 and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even know I was going through all of this. <laughs> and then I also, sometimes I open up a vision book and then I see something that God did for me three years ago. And I'm like, oh, God is good. And I'll be opening up that book when I need it the most. Like when I'm in a, a dry season or when I'm in a down season and I needed that little pick me up and a reminder, I open up that book to a page and I see one of the miracles and the goodness of God. And that just reminds me that God is good, right? Whatever season you are in, it's just temporary. Um, he is going to show out again. If he can do it previously, he can do it again for you, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's about that. Um, I'm going to stop talking about it right now. 
when I get to you know my destination and I actually am in the process of doing it I'll probably go in a little bit more detail about you know how I do it and stuff like that and show you guys the ins and out but also I just wanted to drop here real quick if you guys want me to do like a separate video on creating a vision uh, journal slash vision book let me know because I actually got a few people that told me that they would be interested or they found it very interesting when I was talking about just writing down your goals because y'all I will make a whole detailed video and if y'all want um, I was thinking of doing uh, a vision book party uh, for like January where we can like come together like if you are in the DFW area then we can I could do like a small intimate gathering, but for all of those who are not in the DFW area, I can do a virtual session um, where we can all come together and we can basically create our vision books. And y'all, it's not going to be just no regular degular Zoom, okay? I'm good vibes. It's going to be a good time, all right? Um, and I've been thinking about doing that. I feel like God has placed it on my heart to do it, but I'm not 100% sure if anybody's going to show up. So I'm just dropping it here. Like, if you guys would be interested in doing, like, a vision book party um, where, like, I can even provide the journals for you guys and mail it to y'all. Um, and then we can come together, play music, pray, worship, and then create our vision books together. Let me know because I will do it. I will be obedient to God and I will do that. But I want to know if there's actually a want for it. So comment down below. But don't be shy. Comment right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm done talking. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, good morning. Uh, today is Sunday, uh, December 10th, and today is the day we fly in. <laughs> um, right now it is 9.32, so I woke up this morning around 6.45. I went to the gym, got my workout in. Normally I don't work out on Sundays, but I was fasting Monday through Wednesday of this week, so I don't work out when I fast. So I had to make up for it the last four days of the week. Uh, so I got my workout in today and then I'm about to go to church. So I'm trying out a new church, y'all. Um, I got recommended to this church um, from someone that I know on Instagram who actually lives in Texas and she goes to which one of the campuses of this church. So I went on the website and I like filled out the form just to learn more about the church and they reached out to me the next day. And honestly, y'all, they have been so inviting and so welcoming to the point where it's like, okay, let me come to the service on Sunday and see what it's given because Tuesday, um, I actually went to one of like the leadership meetings, like they invited me because I said I wanted to be a part of like uh, the volunteer committee. So the pastor had called me on the phone next day and we was just chopping it up and we was vibing. And then the pastor invited me to the leadership meeting that day. And then I had met uh, this lady who runs the women's ministry. And then, you know, we went to Bible study together the next day and that was great. So I was like, you know what, let me come on Sunday and see what is given for Sunday because this may be my new church home. Yes, I was going to that church for the last few Sundays that y'all saw in my other vlogs uh, but I was just you know there testing it out you know I'm new to the area so I don't really know um, and that church is a really really big church and I just feel like it's easier to get lost in the sauce and um, I really want like a close-knit church community and don't get me wrong this church that I'm going to now today is also a big church it has like five different campuses but for some reason I don't know like just the interactions that I've had so far, it really makes it feel like a close-knit, um, small church feel, although it's a lot of people. So we're going to go today. Yeah, so the church starts at 1030, which is new for me because I normally be going to, um, I like to go to nine o'clock services personally. I like to get church done with early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I'm going to go 1030 and y'all, my flight leaves at 108. But I'm like, listen, I got to go to church. I got to go worship the Lord. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> gotta get my blessings before I go on vacation. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to leave the church service a little bit early, but I at least want to go there, show face, and then also fill out the environment and just see how the session is because that may possibly be my new church home. And if it is, I'm gonna be super excited. And y'all, I'm also gonna be getting baptized. So I wanted to get baptized before the year was over, and that was my one of my goals in my vision book. And the church that I had was going to previously, like the past three Sundays. They said they were no, they were not doing any more baptisms for the year, and that you would have to go and get baptized, you know, next year when they resume doing baptisms. And lo and behold, I find this church that I'm going going to today, and they have one last baptism for the year, and that baptism is the second to last Sunday of the year. Ain't that God? He knew I wanted to get baptized before the year was over. He's like, girl, I'm about to send you a church. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> So, yeah. And this is just the outfit. Don't come for me, y'all. Because, yes, I know I'm going to church, but I'm also going to travel. And I like to wear comfy attire. So, we are wearing comfy <laughs> attire, okay? Listen, they say come as you are, all right? And, I mean, the pastor told me that they're not like a... um super like bougie s church like you don't gotta come all dressy dressy like you come as you are which i love um but like i, I personally i like to get cute for church but y'all yeah, i'm i'm going on the flight so yeah i'm coming chill real chill real casual these are some new sneakers i got so that's why i'm walking with them around the house they haven't touched the outside floors yet but yeah let's get going y'all I got my suitcase. old things now, forgiving all your old ways, but it's harder on the cold days. Cold days. Never been a product. You're just telling God yes to your will, yes to your way, yes to your word. Line upon line, piece of a prophet. When we don't feel like it, read the song that says that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh, the reason why we pour out our praise is because we have committed to put everything under Jesus' feet. There are times when you just, all you have left is the lungs, the, the, the breath in your lungs because you have committed to give Jesus Christ everything else. You know, some people say, well, I ain't got nothing. I don't have money in the bank or, or, or I don't have enough patience or I'm not certain what I'm supposed to do. Uh, yeah, but give all that other stuff to Jesus as long as you can breathe. Come on, just try it in just one way. Come on, just. Here's what I know. What's up, y'all? Yeah, I just did my little walk of shame. So I didn't miss, well, I did miss my flight, but I got here and I could have gotten to the gate um, by the time I got here, but I have a checked bag and um, they said that I, it was too late for me to, to like drop my bag off because I guess they had already did whatever they did. So I was like, you know, can I still make it to the gate? And he was like, yeah, you can still make it to the gate, but they're gonna charge you $100 at the gate to bring your bag. And you're gonna have to throw out any liquids you have. Mind you, I really don't have that many liquids in there, so I wouldn't mind throwing it out. 
but he was like oh yeah they're gonna charge you 100 dollars at the gate to bring on a carry-on to the plane i was like what mind you this is spirit airlines i've never flown well growing up i used to fly spirit but in my adult life i've never flown spirit like american airlines is typically the airlines i fly and with american airlines like a carry-on is included so when he told me that a hundred dollars to bring a carry-on i was like huh like excuse me and mind you i had already paid money for a check bag so i was like i'm not about to pay an extra hundred dollars for a carry-on so he was like okay so i can get you on the next flight and then he said the next flight is at 8 p.m arriving in miami at one o'clock in the morning and i was like that's the soonest flight he could get me on but yeah that cost an extra 99 99 <laughs> so it was like it was a hundred dollars either way so i was like i asked him I was like hey okay so can i just go to the gate instead and check my bag at the gate and just pay a hundred dollars there and still get on my flight and then he kind of had an attitude I, ugh, whatever he's like oh well no because you're gonna have to throw out your liquids i'm like but i don't mind so I was like, he kind of just went back on what he said previously that I could have still went. So I just didn't want to argue. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Just put me on the next flight. So I had to pay $100. Yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, and the, it is only one ten, And the he's, you can't check in. Like you can't like go past security and past TSA and like check in your bag up until four hours before the flight. So I have to wait till four o'clock to then be able to go inside. So I'm literally like sitting like, you know, right when you enter like the airport vicinity, like before o'clock so that I can actually check in so that I can go in the lounge area and stuff like that. Cause I'm starving y'all. I went to church this morning and I work. I worked out this morning and I didn't eat anything after cause I was expecting to eat something while I got to the airport. But I have to wait until I at least check in to go get food because all the food is after TSA. So there's no food where I'm sitting right now. So luckily enough, there's a vending machine thank god there's a vending machine so i just went to the vending machine and i got myself um two little snacks to keep me until four o'clock and then once i check in i'll just go and sit down at one of the restaurants at the airport and just eat at the restaurant because even at four o'clock i'm still gonna have another four hours until I, my flight actually leaves so i'm gonna just sit at one of the restaurants and just take time and just eat and just chill right because you know i really could be upset i could be mad at myself but i'm not i'm honestly just chilling like you know everything happens for a reason and girl i'm i'm chilling y'all are here with me i'm gonna keep y'all updated along the way um let's just hopefully these three hours pass by so i can get some food and then hopefully the next seven hours pass by as quickly as i can so that i can get on this flight and by god's grace get there safe as hell so yeah, that's the update, y'all. I know. Shame on me. But I'm never flying spirit again. Just just saying that. Like, not even because of me being late, but just because of like, like they have so many f additional fees when it's like you should have just went with a regular airline. Because at least with the regular airlines, you know, a bag is included. At least they give you food on the plane. Like everything is on spirit is extra fees. So I'm just like, you're really not saving. The only way you're gonna save if you fly spirit is if you're flying spirit and you're just bringing a backpack with you. If that's what you're doing, fine. But girl, I ain't bringing no backpack with me, okay? I'm bringing a suitcase and a carry-on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm... Get away, yeah. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah. Cause I would rather be, rather be running away. I would rather be, rather be running away. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I...
Take me there. Hey y'all. So I made it by the grace of God. It is, let me see what time it is. It's 2.09 in the morning. <laughs> I got to the hotel at like 1.34, but they were having like some issues with the system. But I was very patient, very kind. I, I let them take their time because, you know, all that mattered was that I was here. Um, but y'all, I was so scared coming here because, you know, being that I had missed the flight, I'm now going to be coming in at one o'clock in the morning. And I was just like, you know, I'm in a whole different city. And one o'clock in the morning, like that's like the loony hours. You never know. Um, like anything can happen to you getting in an Uber. And I was really worried. Like the whole flight, I was just praying to God, you know, to cover and protect me. And then when I got off the flight, I was like literally praying out loud. I was like, God, cover me. I know that you did not bring me here to forsake me. I was just literally like protect every, like, you know, everywhere that I place my feet, you know, allow this Uber driver to get me to and from safe and sound. Cause you know, I've heard a lot of horror stories about Uber drivers and you know, it's late at night. So anything could happen. Y'all, let me tell you how God is funny. Y'all want to know what the Uber driver name was? <laughs> the Uber driver's name was Jesus which is Jesus, but like, come on, that, oh my God, I lost my earring, oh well, but yeah, the Uber driver's name was Jesus, y'all, Jesus, God is too funny, he's too funny, but anyways, y'all, I'm going to just go undress myself and go to sleep and try to wake up early tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Take me there if what you need is just an offering. Huh. It's right here. My life is here. I'll be a living sacred. You're the fire, you're the fire, the refiner. I wanna be consumed. I wanna be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. Yeah. Is my life. Good morning. Today is. Uh, Monday, December 11th. As you can see, I am dressed and ready to go. I'm about to go and grab some breakfast from a nearby spot. Then I have a meeting at 11.30, which is an hour and 10 minutes from now. So I want to go get food real quick and come back to the hotel, do my meeting in one of the common areas downstairs, and then I'm going to go out. So I'll meet y'all back a little bit later. So this, hold on, girl. This is what we are wearing. It's just a bodysuit, sneakers, and this pink top that I used to throw over. And y'all, I lost my lip gloss that I bought. So I'm about to go to Sephora because it's right next door. And I'm about to get myself a lip gloss because I just can't operate without some form of lip gloss. Like, I need it. My lips just look dry. Your fire is consuming. Fill this place and set it ablaze. I'll be a living person. Like people that are showing you the how to workouts. Mm -hmm. So even if I didn't want to upload every single workout of me doing it, they have like people doing it as opposed to they have like. I didn't really, I didn't really use it the first time. Mm -hmm. um, can can I, you know, I do want to test it out and I'm launching now and I have some clients so that I'm going to put push through it. Hey y'all, so I wanted to come here just real quick and share some words because I was just doing some like random reflection and I was just thinking about how many times 
I have started something and stopped it because, you know, for some reason, like life happened or I felt like I couldn't fully commit to it or I wasn't good enough. And then I started to think about it and I was just like, you know, Johanna, are, aren't you tired of starting something and stopping and not staying committed to what it is that you truly desire, right? And I don't know, I felt like God was like back out the camera and speak because somebody probably resonates with this, right? Sometimes we be praying to God and we be asking God to do all these things in our lives, right? God, expand the business. God, expand my ministry. God, bring more of this and that and whatever the case may be. And sometimes God is just looking at us like, I'm ready to bless you. Like, I'm ready to meet your needs and provide that for you. But I'm going to need you to be ready. I'm going to need you to do your part, right? We all be praying to God, like, God, do this, that, and the third. And God is saying, I want to do it for you, but you ain't doing the work. You're not putting in the work, right? Like, and I literally felt like God was telling me, Johanna, I need you to stop starting and stopping and starting and stopping and just go after what it is I've told you to go after. I don't care if you feel like you're not good enough or you're not qualified. This is not going to be easy. And sometimes you're not going to feel qualified. Sometimes you're not going to feel good enough to do the things that God is calling you to do, but you have to go ahead and do it anyway way and know that with your obedience he's going to meet you and he's going to bless you and equip you with the resources in order to do what he's calling you to do but you have to go ahead and do it we have to get out of this mindset of just sitting here and just waiting for God to do poof and then the miracle is supposed to fall out of uh, out of the sky, right? Yes, God is a, a God of miracle signs and wonders, but it says faith without work is dead. So what work are you, is God waiting on you to do in order for him to bless you? Hmm? You waiting on that blessing and you like, God, where it at? But God looking at you like, babes, I told you to do something and you still ain't do it, right? Are you, you not, you're not working at what I'm telling you to work at. And I'm not coming for nobody. I'm coming for myself because God came for me and was like, girl, you're praying for all of this stuff, but do you deserve what you're paying for? Are you ready to receive what you're praying for? Because God is not going to bless you with what it is that you're asking for if you can't handle it, if you can't steward it. Because one thing God is not going to do is give you something just for you to fumble the bag. So God needs to see that you can handle right now and do the work that he's calling you to do in the moment before he can say, okay, I'm going to give you more. I'm going to increase you in authority. I'm going to increase your territory. So... Being that it's the end of the year, I know we're doing our little self-evaluations and stuff like that. I urge you to kind of just take a look at certain areas of your life and to just kind of look and see what is it that God is telling me to do or what is it that I've been praying to God for, but I feel like I haven't really seen any growth in. And what is it that he's probably waiting on me to do that I haven't done? And that's probably the reason why I haven't seen the full manifestation of the blessings of what God has for me. Because oftentimes when you look at yourself, instead of saying, God, why, why, why? You start to realize, oh, yeah, you're right, God. There's some things that I haven't been doing that you told me to do. And that's why things aren't really moving the way they should be. Because I'm being disobedient. And faith without work is dead. So that's all I had to say. I urge you to look, do an evaluation, and see what work God is telling you to do. And go do that thing. Because I'm telling you, you do it, God is going to meet you. All right? He going to meet you, baby. And I don't care if you feel good enough. Do it anyway. <laughs> Okay, y'all, let me come back and just share one more thing with y'all. So there is this community that um, I wanted to be a part of before I even moved to Texas, right? So like I found out about them through Instagram and I was kind of following them for a couple of months before I moved. And then once I moved, I got to go to the, one of their events and then they had applications for 2024 that went out in uh, November. So I applied and everything. And I literally felt like God was telling me, even before I moved, I found out about this um, community. God was telling me, you're going to be a part of this. And this is going to be a part of your purpose. And this is going to be a part of why I'm calling you here to Texas. Right? So i'm like all right guys so this is what you got for me so period i'm gonna you know do what you say so i applied for it and everything did the application and so today monday this is when they said they would send out the decision letters and you would get like an email saying if you were approved to be a part of um the community or not so 
they have posted on on their Instagram. It's like, oh, did we send out the email? So check your email. Y'all, I'm checking my email. I'm checking all the emails I have. I'm checking my spam folder, my promotion folder, all the folders in the email. And I don't see no letter talking about, oh, congratulations. You know, you've been accepted. So I'm like, oh, God, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. <laughs> and I was a little bit bummed, but I wasn't too bummed about it. Because literally, I was just saying to myself, you know what? If this is not what God has for me. That's totally fine. Like, you know, God's uh, rejection is God's redirection. Yeah, I was going down the whole lane because I was just learning to kind of go with the flow with things and not get so bummed when things don't go your way. But y'all, something in me was like, reach out to them. Go reach out to them, right? Because someone was like, ain't no way. Because God told me that this is what he had for me and I was going to be a part of this. And I knew that I was supposed to be a part of this. Like, I knew without a shadow of a doubt, right? So I'm like, let me go reach out to them. So, you know, put my pride aside and I just reached out to them saying, hey, um, I'm super bummed that I didn't get a, accepted to be a part of the community. Uh, but I wanted to know if there's still any way that I can attend like public events if you guys are having it. Y'all, they respond back to me on Instagram within a few minutes saying, no, you're in. You should have received an email. I don't know why you don't have an email. You're in, like you're a part of the community and we would love to have you a part of our program. I'm like, <laughs> look at that, right? And after that, I responded and I was like, well, thank God I, re I reached out to you guys because if I didn't reach out to y'all, I would have just been sitting there thinking that they just declined me and they didn't want me to be a part of it. And I would have just been so like, oh, well, and I would have missed out on an opportunity, right? I share this to share, not for me to brag or anything like that, but I share this to say, Listen, if God told you something got your name on it, if he said that thing is for you, listen, sometimes it may not just, there may be little hindrances that may try to get in the way. But listen, if God tell you something for you, go after that thing. Okay. It got your, if he said it got your name on it, then it got your name on it. So don't let no, no, no email that didn't go through or you didn't get approved the first time around stop you from what God got for you. If it got your name on it, no. Okay. And sometimes you just have to be, take that little extra step in advocating for what you want and putting yourself out there because you never know. Guys, that could have easily been a missed opportunity for me if I didn't just reach out to them and say, hey, you know, such and such and such, right? And part of me was being a little bit prideful. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to reach out to them. I'm like, no, just reach out to them and just say what you want to say. And y'all, lo and behold, it's just... They got the wrong email on file or something like that or some issue going on, but I'm a part of it. And if I would have just kept my mouth shut, I would have missed the opportunity. I would have missed the blessing. So sometimes speak up, speak up. Because if God says something is for you, speak up. Okay. Don't be afraid to. Okay. Okay. That's all I got to say. I'm, 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 I'm going y'all. <laughs> Y'all, so the Sephora is literally right outside of my hotel, which is like God sent. So I'm about to go in there and I'm about to grab myself a lip gloss because my lips is dry and I just cannot survive without lip gloss. But listen, if God tells you something for you, go after that thing, okay? So I got my lip gloss. If he said it got your name on it, then it got your name on it. So we are going to the dogs and cats walkway. This is so beautiful, and the videos aren't even doing it justice. No longer blinded, I can see you. I'm on my way to meet you. We gotta talk, you know. All these 
trials and tribulations got me tired, I need rest. And I heard that I can come to you when we're Y'all, I know I talk a lot in my vlogs, and that's what really makes them so long because I love to talk, but I have a lot to say, and I just really wanted to come and just share the goodness of God, right? And it's just, I'm just reflecting on the year, and I'm just like, wow, God can really show up in the 11th hour and show out, guys. I know, like, y'all are probably watching my vlogs, and you're like, oh, you know, God is blessing you, and God is doing great things in your life, which he is, y'all, but just a couple months ago i was in a very bad place i was in a very dark space so it's just I, i'm just coming here to share that to be transparent because i don't want people to just oh you now you're watching my vlogs and be like oh look she got it easy she got it good blah 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 you know she's lucky and it's like i'm blessed don't get me wrong i am blessed but it took a lot to get here right there was a lot of tears shed there was a lot of sad nights crying myself to sleep. There was a lot of um, in my prayer closet just saying, God, why? <laughs> okay, so I'm glowing right now because, you know, God got me through it. And I am just so thankful that he did. So to whoever is watching this, if you are going through something right now, if you are in a season right now, but you just don't understand, just know that you have to keep believing. You have to keep having faith. I know you made me crying yourself to sleep. I know you made me crying up in your closet, girl. I've been there. I was sitting there sobbing my eyes out in the shower. I was so sad and down bad and nobody knew that I was in my emotions the way that I was. Nobody knew that I was on a brink of depression. No one knew that. But God was with me through it all, and he kept me and sustained me. So whoever just needs to hear that, know that things are going to get better. I don't know exactly when because I don't know your life story. I don't know you personally, but just know, keep seeking God, keep praying, and also just have the faith. Because you got to have the faith, babes. You can't, you can't be praying without it. But, yeah, that's just all I have to say. Trying to find the store. I finally found the damn store. I have to walk around for like who knows how long. I wanna go to Galiway, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Galiway. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to me with saying and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. Good morning. Hey y'all. So today, today is Tuesday, December 12th. And today's the day that I'm going to be uh, filming like the fitness videos as well as um, filming like the motivational videos with the collab that I'm doing. So I'm getting ready. It's 9.34. I finished doing like a little light beat just so that you know, you put like a little something on your face because it just looks better on the camera, right? A little bit more, uh, what's the word? Easy on the eye. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting ready to leave in a, in a minute. So I figured I should like back out the camera and just, you know, introduce today. Um, I'm just doing my edges real quick and then I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast. And then I'm going to wait for her to come and get me. So she's going to be coming in an Uber. Um, so we're going to just go over to the destinations together. So I'm going to bring you guys along. And we're going to be going to some nice places. We're going to be going to the beach because we're going to do a beach workout. And then we're also going to be going to this place called Winwood Walls. And um, it's basically like a very artistic place. Um, and that's where I'm going to do like the motivational video that... Um, the topics that I'm going to discuss and yes, yeah, so I'm going to show y'all that and I'm wearing this really cute bodysuit. I gotta show y'all it um, God, just tell me what you need for me 
There's no Holy Spirit telling me God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God Or actually, okay. you're going to have to check on Instagram, okay? Period. What's your Instagram, bro? Ny.ltn. That's N-Y-Y.ltn. Okay, and girl, don't drop your other ah! one. How can I look at She Fly. The brand is She Fly UK. So make sure you check it out. Soften don't. up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity. Reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold a hand and don't hey y'all so i wanted to talk about how to reignite that passion how to set yourself back on fire for that vision and that goal that you have for yourself right i know a lot of us i can relate to this as well i'll start something then i'll stop because i lost the passion but i want to come here and tell you three helpful tips that will help you reignite that passion and the first tip that i have for you is to go back to your why rediscover your why what is the reason for you doing this thing or starting it and remember that and get back on track number two is tuning out the noise listen I don't care what the haters gotta say I don't care what the naysayers gotta say you gotta tune out all that outside distraction all the outside noise and hone in on that passion hone in on that vision that you have for yourself and number three is go back to the drawing board I know it have may not have worked out the first time or the second time or maybe even the fifth time <laughs> go go back to the drawing board and see how you can change it over and transform that vision and reignite that passion so i urge you on today to get back to it <laughs> so i just came to pick up a rental car because tomorrow i'm driving down to fort myers to go visit my dad so this is what the interior of the car is looking like and then where's the trunk girl is the trunk open no yeah right May God bless this travels as I'm on the roads today and tomorrow to make it to Fort Myers. Hey y'all, so I know y'all saw those wonderful clips of me earlier at the beach. After that, we went and grabbed some quick bites and then I went, picked up the rental car. You saw that as well because I'm gonna be driving in the morning to go down to my, see my dad for the last few days of my trip and yeah so i came back to the hotel chilled for a little bit i had to edit some piece of content so that i can send over to her um for one of like the cooking videos that i had to do so i sent that over and i changed and i'm about to go out to dinner with my two cousins and one of his girlfriends so it's gonna be the five of us we're gonna go out to dinner and i'm so excited because as i told y'all early in the vlog like these cousins they live in florida and i was living in new york previously and i mean texas is still kind of far from florida so we do not see each other on a regular regular like we can go years without seeing each other but so you know it, it's a vibe every time we link up so i'm excited because i haven't seen them in a long time i'm excited to meet his girlfriend and my excited to see my other girl cousin and just go out and you know honestly it's 7 42 and you know they were trying to like go a little bit later at like 9 30 and i sound like a little grandma because i'm like listen you guys said eight o'clock now you're pushing the time to 9 30 i'm not moving the time anymore or i'm not coming <laughs> but i'm like no like how often do you really get to see them so it's okay to have that night out and just really take time to enjoy them and enjoy their presence because 
anything can happen and you know you need to cherish those moments so i might like just show you guys clips of the restaurant and stuff like that but i probably won't really back out the camera to get all in nitty gritty because i haven't seen them in who knows how long so i don't want to be throwing no camera in their face you know but if they feel comfortable i might pop them in there but see y'all a little bit later Guys, say hey to the vlog. This is my cousin. Say hey, say hey. And his girlfriend. Say hey, say hey, Westy. People lie, you understand me. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch. Okay, what are we cheersing to? And you gon' make it to the with some <laughs> advancement, <laughs> the new year. Reach a hat on all the pretty end up to the sky. And I'm a wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer. Take her higher, higher. Fly out the valley and the fire. Take her. Good morning, y'all. The lighting is bad in here because it's I'm in the car and it's very gloomy outside. It's actually raining today. But today is Wednesday, uh, December 13th. And I just checked out of my hotel and I came to get myself a little breakfast sandwich before I head on the road. Because today I'm going to be driving to Fort Myers from Miami. And that is a two and a half hour drive roughly you know if there's no if there's traffic it might take a little bit longer so i'm like let me just stop and get some breakfast so i got myself a little uh protein shake a sandwich y'all know i'm obsessed with these little ice drinks so i got me a little ice <laughs> and then i have a skinny pop and honey roasted cashews yo these are so good so good so those are my little snacks for the road. I don't think I'll need much because it's only a two and a half hour drive. So yeah, I'm gonna just sit in the car and I'm gonna like eat my breakfast real quick. And then after that, I'm going to head on the road and hopefully get there safe and sound by the grace of God, because it is raining and you know, Florida, it be raining. It don't be that little small rain. It be that little crazy rain, but yeah. I guess let me show y'all the sandwich. Train her feet for running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the arm. I got these some new sneakers. I went to the Nike store the other day and I got these. And they are the Nike Metcons. And these are really good for strength training. And they are so comfortable. If I didn't tell you guys this before, but I have like plantar fasciitis, which um, I really don't know how to explain right now, but <laughs> these are so comfortable. Good morning. Hey guys. So today is Thursday, December 14th. I am dressed and I'm about to go to the gym. I just had myself some breakfast. I'm about to go get myself a energy drink, maybe a Celsius or a Lani, whatever I could find at the 7-Eleven. And then I'm gonna go try out this gym called Smash Fitness. I'm gonna get a day pass um, and hopefully it's a good time. And then I'm gonna come back, shower, and then I'm going to go out and kind of go to this little coffee shop in downtown Fort Myers and do some work because I have a lot of like back end stuff that I need to do. And then I think later on today, I'm gonna spend like out with my dad. I don't know where we're gonna go, but somewhere. But yeah. Um, Not the gym having hair curvers, my I am blow dry. I love that. And it got some little cute little products. I love that. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen, can't be touched by fire. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your old ways, but it's harder on the cold day. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you. And I still pray. Dear God, won't you send me a break? 
good afternoon y'all so it's 1:13. uh today is actually friday december 15th if i'm not mistaken yeah so i just got back from the gym i checked out my hotel this morning and then i came to the gym again today and then i just showered at the gym and then did a little bit of something on my face make sure i'm ready to go and i have my i put the rest of my stuff in my suitcase and packed it up so it's in the trunk so um yeah my dad and i are gonna drive down to miami because that's where my flight is and drop me off at the airport because my flight is for 10 p.m i need to get away dear god won't you send me a break because I, I need to get away y'all this airport lighting is so bad but it doesn't matter okay i am literally here to deliver a message because i just got a revelation and god just answered one of my prayers and i felt like he was just telling me girl back on the camera because somebody doesn't know this or somebody just needs a reminder and needs to hear this so y'all yesterday i came across an opportunity right that was presented to me and when i tell you the opportunity just aligned so well with what it is that i'm trying to do so there's something that i'm working on and it just aligns so well and when i met this person and they gave me that they were presenting me this opportunity they don't know me from anywhere like this is the first time we're ever meeting um, and then we briefly started speaking and then that's when they like, you know, brought up the idea, the opportunity to me. And then I was like, wow, this seems like everything that I'm trying to do and everything that I wanted. Like it, it literally seemed like a, a golden ticket. Like it just seemed like, wow, this is it. But I wanted to come here and emphasize the point of inviting God into every single decision that you make. Don't be so quick to just do something because it looks like what you want. Invite God into every single area, every single decision that you make. Ask him for discernment, y'all, right? So I was so excited. Like, I was excited when I heard about this opportunity, but part of me was also kind of hesitant because I was like, hey, before I do anything, like, I've learned as I developed in my faith that I need to invite God into every single area, every single aspect of my life and every single decision because I don't want to fall into counterfeit situations and opportunities because I have been in that situation. I have fallen into counterfeit relationships and things of that sort and I realized how much of a detriment it is and how it could have been avoided if I only had just invited God, asked for discernment and listened when he gave me the discernment. So. Although I was excited about this opportunity, I was just still in my head and I was just kind of praying to God and I was saying, you know, God, I'm going to, I want to invite you into this decision. I need clarity because I do not want to do anything out of my own will. I want to walk in perfect alignment and in perfect will for what you have for me, right? And I want to make sure this is what you have and not something that I want to do out of my flesh. Although it looks like an ideal opportunity and it aligns with what I want to do, if this is not of you, God, I need you to give me discernment and, and, and answer me. And y'all, God answered me. <laughs> okay he gave me double confirmation that that's not of him that opportunity although it looked like an ideal opportunity that is not from god and i just said all right god heard you i ain't gonna go forth with it i'm not gonna move forth with it and the reason why i wanted to come here and share that is because i wanted to just like tell somebody that y'all you need to invite God into every single area of your life. Every single decision that you're making, you need to ask God for discernment. You need to seek him and you need to ask him, hey God, is this what you want me to do? And wait until he answers you. Do not just pray and then you think, okay, you had a random thought and now you think that was God. No, like wait until you get confirmation and ask God for confirmation. He is not going to not send you confirmation, right? Whether he wants you to do something or not, but the way for us to really receive an answer from God is for one believe that you are going to get an answer that he's going to answer you but two you have to ask him from a place of being able to accept whatever answer he tells you like you have to ask him for confirmation about something and be okay with whether he says yes it's a go 
or no, it's a no-go. Like you have to act from that heart posture in order to really receive a genuine answer from God. Because if you are acting with the intent of not wanting to hear the truth, your mind may not even give you the ability to process that God is probably telling you, no, this is not for you. Don't do it. And I really just want to specify this also, y'all, that, you know, a lot of times, you know, when we pray, this is not to knock you from praying, but the enemy also hears our prayers. The devil also hears our prayers. So sometimes like he will send counterfeit blessings counterfeit relationships counterfeit opportunities that look really 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 close to what it is that you want or what god has for you but that is not it if you have the eyes to see the ears to hear and you seek god for an accent for discernment you'll be able to discern whether something is of him or not so don't be so quick to just go and do something or go after something, or after something just because it looks good because if it's not of God, I'm telling you that it's going to come with pain. It's going to come with sorrow. It's going to come with unnecessary turmoil. God doesn't give you gifts plus all the pain, extraness, and turmoil, right? So I just urge somebody today, if there is just something, an opportunity that's being presented or a relationship that you're, you seems like too good to be true, not saying that God doesn't bless us, but just make sure you really ask in God for discernment and you ask him for confirmation. And if you need a couple confirmations, keep asking to make sure that it is of God so you don't get caught off in the counterfeits. And trust and believe. Oftentimes, when things aren't of God, you're just not going to have peace about it. And then if you just take time to sit in quietness or just really look into the little small details, you'll start to be able to pinpoint the areas that do not align with God's word and what God would want for you. So I hope that makes sense, what I just shared. And I hope that somebody received that message and it's helpful to somebody. I literally just felt like God was telling me to back out my camera and share this to y'all. And that somebody needed to hear it. Good morning, y'all. It is 11.09. As you can see, we are in a familiar background, y'all. I am home, safe and sound by the grace of God. Can I get a hallelujah? Okay. <laughs> So today's gonna be the last day of the vlog. I decided I'm gonna bring you guys along to the fitness event with me. And then after I bring you guys along to that event, I will end the vlog there and hopefully have the vlog uploaded by tomorrow, which is going to be Sunday, December 17th. I just got back from the gym. I hit my little leggy leggies. Now I'm about to go and shower, figure out an outfit because I am going to be taking headshots and stuff. So I want to have like a decent outfit that looks good. And then I'm going to do a little bit of makeup. Nothing too heavy because it's going to be for my personal training headshots. It's like fitness headshots. So I, I, I don't want to like overbeat face. But I do want to look fresh and refreshed for the camera. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I am going to catch up with y'all a little bit later. Say so yeah, so y'all to be. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. I am dressed um, and ready to go. I am wearing just this little Nike top, some black leggings. And I'm going to put my uh, Nike fly knit sneakers on. Um, because I am doing headshots. I want to keep it simple. I want to keep it you know, professional. And then it's a little bit chilly outside, it's like 50 degrees, so I'm gonna just throw on a little um, fleece, well, it's not really fleece, but a little, um, one of those workout jackets that you just zip up. Um, I'm about to go grab some kava, it's gonna be my first time trying it. And then I'm going to head to the event because right now it is 104, so I'm gonna sit, eat, and then go to the event. And hopefully I can get some footage and some clips. So this is what we're working with. I threw on this little fanny pack because I didn't want to carry a purse. I need to fix it, but I am going to take it off. But this is what we're working with. They got the little Nike top. Um, then I got like the fly knits, matching Nike sneakers. And then I just have this little fanny pack and I threw this on. And yeah, I hope the pictures come out cute. 
I'm out, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna try the kava for y'all. I just went and got it. Show y'all what it looks like. I know it look a little crazy in here, but here's what it's looking. Give y'all a little bite. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can do this again. I just like the same price as Chipotle. Honestly, yeah. We have the same price, but it's just different flavors. This is really, really good. people so i am back home today was a long day i know i didn't get much footage but it was a really really good time the fitness um event was just so heartwarming it's so nice just meeting people within the same field who are just as passionate about health and wellness and um, it's just great seeing how much opportunity there is in Dallas, just in the um, the health and wellness space. And I'm excited and happy to be here. I met some really great and amazing people. And I really do feel like there is room for everybody to eat. You know what I mean? There is room for you to thrive. And it doesn't matter how many people like you are doing the same thing. You know, it's your personality that makes you unique. And if, you know, again, if God called you to do something and you listen, he is going to bring the people that, you know, fit what he has for you, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, it was a really great time. And then after that, I met a young lady there at the actual fitness event. Like, so she was doing like the pictures and stuff and she's also Haitian and she invited me to um, an event that happened late, that was happening later today. And it's basically like a Haitians United um, organization that they have here in Dallas. So there's not a lot of Haitians and Caribbeans, but there there is a decent amount, but we're not as like um, predominant in comparison to other states, but they have like a little org to kind of bring the few Haitians that are here in Dallas together. Uh, so I went to their events, like a little Christmas party, winter social, and that was really good. So I just got back home and yeah, I had a, a solid week. So I just wanna come here and close out the vlog and just thank you all for watching. Thank you for all the you guys who stayed till the end. Thank you to everyone who is commenting and taking time to give me feedback, taking time to drop the hearts when you make it to the end. I really, really appreciate it. And if you've made it to the end, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But I also wanna know, where are you guys watching from? Comment in the comments. I mean, if there's anything you like about the vlog, feel free to comment it down below, but also comment where you are watching from. What state, what city, I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna get to know y'all better, and I really wanna know where all of y'all are tuning in from. So once again, thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I hope that you have a blessed week, day, afternoon, whenever you are watching this. <laughs>